I flew to Turkey two weeks ago to finish shooting a project and meet up with my Turkish friends, but decided to try out a new adventure in the form of glamping. This is me having a full European summer moment. I have spent more time in the water than out of it, have been visiting ancient ruins and eating various vegetables stuffed with rice. I just love it here and wanted to share some pockets of peace, so thank you for joining me today just as you are. Let's breathe deep together. I am going to be living in this yurt for the next few days, trying out glamping, which I've never done. I love roughing it and playing Survivor and living so close to the earth, cooking all of my own meals, but I wanted to try something new. So I'm in the Butterfly Valley of Turkey, and I basically just drove from Dalaman to Fethiye, where I spent the first few days, and then from Fethiye to Oludeniz, got some ferry tickets, and took a 30-minute boat ferry to the Butterfly Valley. checked in, got into our yurt, and we're just gonna be living out here. And I just feel like I'm in adult summer camp or like a honeymoon retreat situation, and I just wanted to share some of these days with you. It is very, very hot. Now this place is not off the grid, a hidden gem, or unknown by any means. There are boats coming here every single day and it's actually a really well thought out facility. There's meals provided and tons of other yurts as well. But in the early mornings and late evenings, having this valley completely to ourselves is something so magical. And those are the moments where I feel like I can really drop in with the land. having time alone in nature, just having a pocket of intimacy with yourself alone in nature is such a gift and is kind of a rare thing. I already know it's going to be my daily ritual to come up here every day at 5.30 or 6 so that I can really just be quiet with myself and listen to what's here and just feel close close to everything. Nature is where I find myself again and again and I just love having <laughs> intimate time with her. I feel like my inner child really comes out and also my wise woman. And when I land in a place for the first time, I really need to get acquainted with the climate, with the elements, with the ancestors, with the energy of the land. And so what I've been doing this morning is just kind of introducing myself where I come from, who my lineage is, sharing a song as an offering, and really just really grounding into the land. Traveling full time, I feel like I'm in a constant state of integration because there's so much that comes up when you're moving. I mean, one train ride alone for me, I'm writing so many poems, I'm having all these revelations, just being in motion. <laughs> or being still while everything else around you moves like on a plane or a train or a car ride it just for me is like this perfect chamber of reflection but i am feeling a little bit sensitive because i'm in my luteal phase right now i'm gonna really enjoy the next hour with myself here
strong and helpful. Oh, mean, yeah. okay. Yeah, it was a mythological god, something who always helped the people and gives them strength. The strength. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Hello, it's literally 2.22 right now on August 22nd. Uh, <laughs> I am so hot. I've been drip sweating every single day, but this is my little routine. In the afternoons, I just spend my time editing, doing tedious, monotonous computer work that doesn't require Wi-Fi. I feel like I never really talk about bugs in my videos considering I'm such an outdoor girly, but I really don't mind uh, cockroaches, spiders, ants, just bugs of any sort. Like, yes, they're sometimes a little creepy when they sneak up on you, but they're not the biggest deal to me. I've lived in close proximity to all of those bugs, but mosquitoes are the one thing I cannot get behind. I mean, if they didn't itch, I would let them. I would say, use my body as your communion. Eat from me. So the past few months, I've literally been traveling with this mosquito net, just knowing if I ever start to get attacked, I have a resource that will help me get good sleep. And I use this in India and I'm using it here too. And it's just amazing. I literally brought command hooks and command strips, but we got a little makeover. It's golden hour and you might be able to tell from this video that this one day in my life here has been filmed over the past three days but I'm reading right now and I just finished actually The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and it was so good. I hope you can hear me with the sound of the waves but I can't believe how comforting it is to have the experience of depression and life-ending thoughts depicted accurately to you. Like there's something about it that just really gives me so much solace. And there are points in the book where I wish that he had gone deeper into certain experiences um, and that I thought could have been even more expanded upon or like would be a way for the reader to learn more lessons through her own experiences. But that just made me think that rather than tell someone else how to write their book, I just need to write my own book. <laughs> the only certain thing that we know in this human life is that we're here to have an experience. And I think that's part of the reason why I love being melancholy is because I just feel so alive in those moments. Everything feels so real and is touching on me in such an intimate way and feels so all or nothing. Like even when I'm heartbroken, I'm happy. There's so much that you can learn from joy as well, from learning to let the light in. I genuinely feel like I'm in my light years right now and I'm really learning to embrace that, that everything 
can be okay and that my sadness now is such a normal sadness. It's such a manageable, unproblematic sadness that doesn't lead me to completely self-sabotage and abandon myself and that is such a blessing. It was a good read. If you have any recommendations like that, a fictional novel that is really moving, has to do maybe with mental health, or it's just a good story, maybe slightly spiritual, please leave it down below. I would love your book recommendations, and I think everyone in the comments would love to see. I came here with my friends Rank and Omer one year ago and this time we literally reunited in the water after months apart and spent two full days adventuring to different corners and nooks within the valley. This one night we went swimming and there were bioluminescent phytoplankton in the sea so we put our goggles on and we're giving each other light shows just absolutely geeking out and letting our inner child free entirely. I'm realizing that I feel most alive with other people lately, especially ones that inspire me to love beyond the bounds that I already know. And any time that I feel deeply present with the simple magic of life, like getting to look at the stars or jump in fresh water or just be in togetherness, I like to cast out prayers and intentions and messages of love to the universe. So I've been inviting my friends to do that because it's just even more amplified and energetically charged when you're just in such a high vibrational place of love. And it's so life-giving. So that's definitely something I've been doing a lot this week. Week. It's just prayer casting and if you're ever in your favorite little part of the woods or you're just feeling truly happy on like your mom's birthday or something, take a moment to breathe into your highest vision for your life path, for the life path of the people that you love or humanity in general. It's a practice that I love doing. If you want to feel love, share it, share it with others. Mm, that was perfect and then let me get this little... Little peach okay. with a bread knife. Yo, I can't believe a bunch of yummy fruit. Breakfast could be literally just like fruit galore. <laughs> Come on. As peanut, yeah, shakes. Peanuts is also, as someone loves. Now, chuck tomato salad to the gold. I know, and then everyone shifts their attention to me, and I just have yogurt all over my face. I'm like, can I do one of those? And you're like, still eating. <laughs> I've been communing into nature every single day, bringing my conscious breath with me into most moments and really taking in Turkey. I adore it here. I love the people, the food, the dance moves I've been learning, the sea, and the little family I'm carving out here with my friends. Thank you for tuning into another series of moments that make me feel like the most blessed human on earth for letting me share the blessings.